What is up everybody? It is your man Brian back with you for another review and I'm going to try and do this review for the third time without being bothered. Okay, so today we are going to do Vape More. Okay, this is, these are awesome juices. This is an awesome company. Um, I like their, I like their philosophies on stuff. Okay, because with talking to them and um, looking on the bottles and the website, um, their thing is you vape what's in the bottle, not what's on it. So why pay more for a label and juice? All right. So, and plus, why make the juice look fancy? Why make the label look fancy and then the juice be crappy, right? So... They keep their labels simple, okay? This is their labels. It's simple. You got your Proposition 65 and your ingredients and stuff. Then over here, you got... You vape what's in the bottle, not what's on it. Your 15 mil is a $3, and that's all they do is 15s and 120s. Your 120s are 20 bucks, okay? It doesn't cost more to make awesome e-liquid. It shouldn't cost more to buy it, all right? And then right here, you got your ingredients. Oh, I'm sorry. This is your warning, not your ingredients over here. This is your warning. This is your ingredients, all right? So, anyway... <laughs> Mellow Gold, okay? This is a 90-10 blend. Tobacco with sweet nutty caramel or tobacco with nutty caramel. Anyway, it's a tobacco and caramel. This is a good juice if you're a tobacco lover and you like caramel with your tobacco. This is very good. Um, I did try all these juices. I'm not a tobacco vapor myself. Um, I don't like caramel and tobacco. Um... And I like caramel as long as it's not too overpowering. And in this juice, nothing's too overpowering. Um, the tobacco does not overpower the caramel and vice versa. It's very we very equally blended. All right, so if you like tobacco and caramel, give this a shot, all right? This is going to be going to my friend Sean because he actually buys from vape more a lot he loves vape more juices and this just happens to be one of his favorites and um i figure why not give it to him because it'll get vaped uh so and the next one we're gonna do is cool green the next one i'm gonna go over is cool green uh i believe this was the 7921 blend Hold on a second, guys. It's I gotta scroll down and go through the if I can find it. Cool green, here it is. Straight menthol is what they say on the flavor profile for this juice. Um, and they're right. Uh, they don't recommend that this juice be ran in a dripper. They recommend do it in a tank. Um. And it's seventy nine twenty one, guys. I'm sorry, I got I got caught up in reading stuff on the drip to tank ratio thing. If you go on their site and you click on their juice, it tells you the flavor profile, it tells you the VGPG ratio, then it gives you a little rundown of like uh, a say about the juice or something, and then it has a tank to drip ratio thing telling you what's best to use it in at what wattage or temperatures and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Um, I don't see many sites doing that. Um, so anyway, this one's straight menthol, guys. Uh, if you like menthol, if you're a, a menthol vapor that loves menthol to the fullest extent, get this one because this is menthol that will kick you right in the face. I mean, it is menthol through and through. There's nothing else in that juice. It is menthol, menthol, menthol. That's it. Now, Tropical Tort. Tropical Tort is... I'm sorry if I sound winded, guys. It's it's just a, a bad day. On, I'm, I've been having chest pains very bad today. I got a heart problem, so sometimes when it decides to act up, it makes me get winded really quick. All right. <clears throat> this is a uh, tropical tort. Is a uh, 
7228 blend, 72 VG, 28 PG, okay? And it says graham cracker and fruit medley, okay? Now, I did vape this. I vaped all these juices, okay? And I can't really pick out which tropical fruits are in here, okay? I, I can't pick out which ones are there and it doesn't it's so well blended that I cannot pick out which ones are there okay it's and it says it right here it's the sort of flavor that simply can't be described and they're exactly right because they have it so well blended I can taste the graham cracker in there don't get me wrong and you can taste that it's tropical fruits but it, they have it so well blended that I cannot pick out what exactly is in here. It's just a good juice. Um, I'll be getting a 120 of this probably sometime down the road to sit there and vape on throughout the day and see if I can pick what's in it. Because I like to, when I taste the juices, uh, try and pick out what's in it um, when they give me a description of it. And they don't tell you what's in this juice they just say tropical tropical fruits with graham cracker and, and so but it's good nonetheless this is a really really good juice if you like hints of graham cracker and tropical fruits get this it's very very good all right now the next one we're gonna do is berry bomb okay yes and it is pink okay so I'm um, thinking there you they Matter of fact, I know they use a little bit of food coloring in this. However, I vaped it last night, and when I put it on my cotton, it turned my cotton uh, a little bit pink. But as I vaped it and it burned off, so did the cotton being pink. It went back to white, so that's pretty cool, which means they're only using a little tiny bit, just enough to change the color. Um... So they're not using it to where it's going to make your cotton pink. It will turn your cotton pink when you put it on there. However, <clears throat> it goes back to white as you vape it. All right, so Berry Bomb. Berry Bomb is a 60-40 blend, and it's sweet blended berries. And this juice is so freaking good. Oh, my God, was this juice good. Um, I... Didn't think I was going to be too keen on it because I'm not a person who likes to vape uh, juices with food coloring in them. But this juice, I'm going to get over that because this juice is so freaking good. You can taste the raspberries in it. You can taste the strawberries. You can taste the blueberry in there. It is so freaking good, and it's nice and sweet. It's not like a fresh fruit blend. It's like a sweet blend. It's so freaking good. Oh, my God, is it good. Summer Sweetie, okay? This is what Summer Sweetie looks like. This one is pink as well. Um, and, again, with the Berry Blend, uh, the Berry Bomb, it also makes the cotton a little bit pink when you put it on. However... It goes back to white as you vape it, all right? So, this is a 7822, and let me tell you, if you like fresh watermelon, which is what this is, if you like fresh watermelon vapes, get this. Oh my God, is this freaking good. It's like you cut a piece of watermelon and vaped it. Oh my God, it's so good. It's... I mean, it's like you walk down in the kitchen and took a piece of watermelon and just took a big bite out of it. It's so good. And again, this one is pink, and I'm going to get over it because uh, it's so freaking good. All right. Baker's Bean. Okay. Baker's Bean is... If I can find it. Come on, Brian. Find the thing. Where is it? Baker's Bean. The very first one. Figures. Right? Right in front of your face. You can't find it. Lightly Sweet Vanilla. If you like vanilla, 
Okay, I did vape this right before the video. Um, I I retried all of them. Um, this is not very it. It's all vanilla, okay, but it's kind of like a creamy vanilla, and it's nice and light. It's not really powerful in the vanilla. It's kind of like a kind of like a creamy vanilla, but it's good. It's very uh very good vanilla vape. If you like vanilla, get that. It's very very good. Now, cafe cream. Um, I'm not a coffee vapor, but this is good, but only good. Uh, for me at certain times, um, I'll be, my sister is in love with coffee vapes, so I'll be giving this to her, but I did taste it just so I knew what I was tasting for the review, um, and it's, it, it is straight coffee, um, it, it tastes to me like I'm sitting there drinking a cup of coffee um it it's a 8317 blend okay and it says sweetened coffee with a hint of caramel and maybe that's what's kind of throwing it off for me is the caramel with with the sweetened coffee but it is a good vape it's a good vape if you like uh if you like, um, what, what is that, uh, they have a, they have a, um, a creamer out there that's caramel. If you like that and you like it in coffee, get this because it, that's what it tastes like. Um, it tastes like coffee with that caramel creamer in it. Um, it's really good, but I'll be giving this to my sister because she loves coffee vapes. Okay. Now, cool customer. This is so good. Um, I'm not usually a minty vapor, but if you like Andy's mints, this is spot on Andy's mint. So if you like Andy's mints, give this a try. Um, the little, the little chocolate, uh, chocolate candies with the real thin thing of mint in the middle. That's exactly what this tastes like. It's very, very good. Okay. It tastes like mint chocolate chip ice cream. Uh, without the ice cream part, okay? This is a 77-23 blend. So if you like mint chocolate chip or you like them Andes mints, get that because you'll love that, okay? Now this one, guys. This is the one that I was talking about that I didn't like, okay? And I don't know... I don't know what it is about it. It's the Fruit Fruity. I don't know what it is about this one. Um, it's supposed to be creamy blended fruits, but I don't get any fruit off of it when I vape it. I, it's it's just I can't eat, I can't vape it. It's just I don't. Sorry guys, I dropped the cap. I. Don't know. Um, I went scroll down to look at the drip to tank ratio thing, and it's maybe it's supposed to be used in temperature control or something to get the best flavor out of this juice. But it tastes like burnt fruit to me. I don't, I don't know what's up with this juice. And for it being that kind of color, it's it kind of it kind of looks orange, but it's not. Uh, orange when you put it on your coils and stuff it goes on the cotton clear um, I'm guessing that's just maybe the fruits and the nicotine in there and stuff that makes it look like that but yeah guys I don't know what it is about that juice I just don't like it um, to me it tastes like burnt fruit um, so anyway guys that is the vape more review all in all a good line they have a little bit of everything for everybody so go to their site, check it out. I'll leave a link down in the description. It's vapemore.com, www.vapemaor.com. Go and check them out, guys. All these juices are good. They're very uh, budget-friendly, but also good quality juices. Uh, they got their VGP, VGPG ratio on the site. They got sample packs. They're 15 mils or $3 if you want to just get one of these 
guys to try out something and then go and get a 120 and also if you go on their page and scroll all the way down to the bottom it says uh vape more liquid recipes or something and they have where um other customers and them have mixed gif their different juices together and came up with different ones they got like a oatmeal one in there uh prince fruity or something like that and a couple other one guys so go check them out vape more all in all, 8 out of 9 juices, you can't go wrong, okay? They have uh, 10 juices all together, I believe it is. I got 9 of them, and I've liked every single one except for 9. Um, however, there are more ones that I liked more and ones that I like less. Even the ones that are not in my flavor profile were pretty good. So, that's it guys. That's all I got for you. Join Kasai, fight for your right to vape. Go to uh, FluentVapors.com, get your Addy's yogurt, 100% of the proceeds goes to NotBlowingSmoke.org, so you can do, uh, you can help advocacy out in that way. Go to Vape More, get something, try it out, I'm telling you, they have something for everybody, okay? Um, come over to VapeShack.net, hang out with us, the link will be down in the description for that. I'll put links in the description for all these vape mores, okay, juices, and uh, let's vape some of this cool customer, which was the mint chocolate chip, and get on out of here, guys, alright, see ya.